Zero Hunger is UNESCO's top two sustainable goal. How come many farmers who provide food security to the world end up hungry themselves and victims of human rights abuses? Such a paradox is the deadly struggle of the Kidapawan farmers in March 2016 in my homeland, Philippines. Our tropical location makes us most vulnerable to climate hazards. For five months since November 2015, El Nino had caused stifling drought. Our people were starving. The farmers were suffering especially from income loss and famine. Desperate, they asked for food before the National Food Authority but were turned away. Drought-resistant seeds were only released in February but it was too late. Finally, on March 29, 2016, over 500 Kitapawan farmers and 6,000 locals took to the streets under the scorching sun, demanding food from the government. But Governor Talino Mendoza, who previously promised to give rice, refused to help for administrative reasons. At 10 a.m. on March 30th, the protest permit expired. The police came in violent force to break up the protest using batons, rocks, water cannons, and finally, guns. Three farmers were killed, 16 injured, and 76 arrested. Farmers produce 85% of the world's food yet are grossly underrepresented in human rights organizations. So far, the only international treaty for them is the International Seed Treaty. But seed is not the only need. With worsening climate change, we must increase our support now and defend the very hands that feed us, or this history will repeat itself in more countries.